Hi, good afternoon. I'm Darren Weiss with TGI Office Automation, and today I'm going to provide an overview of Toshiba's new eStudio imaging series. If we come over to this device right here, the first thing I would like to do is do a walk around or an overview of the device itself and how it's currently accessorized. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to begin at the top on the document feeder. This is a 300 sheet single pass dual scan document feeding system, which will hold a paper stack capacity of up to 300 sheets of paper to the max line there. All documents placed in the feeder for copying or scanning are put in face up as the icon shows. Documents get fed in through the feeder. Should you ever receive an occasional misfeed, there's a latch right here that allows you to open up the top of the feeder and eject the paper that misfed. If I lift the document feeder up, there are also other ejection areas by a green tab here that will come down and let you remove a piece of paper that may have been misfed in this section. With the feeder up, this lets me show you the platen glass, which has a full 11 by 17 scan bed for copying or scanning. Over here, what's nice with these single pass dual scan feeders is that the device has a special hinge that allows you to, if you're making copies of a three ring binder, a thick book, a magazine, it will actually contour to the paper and to the object being copied. So you no longer have to put your hand here on the left side to stop the shadows. So it contours very nicely to the object being copied or scanned on the platen glass. And then when you lift the lid up, it will reset itself back into the standard position. If we come over here onto the right side of the system, the device is equipped with a 100 sheet multi-purpose bypass tray. There's an extension here, which will allow you to reproduce 11 by 17 and 12 by 18 paper. Over here, this is the section where you may have an occasional misfeed because paper travels up the right side of this system and then straight out to the output area. So it's very simple to get inside the machine. You have your bypass tray here, bypass tray. There are icon indicators here letting you know that you can put your stocks, your envelopes, and sheets of labels in here. You'd put your media on the tray. It tells you the orientation. Lift the latch, then close it so the roller catches it. And then the device will allow you to feed the media through here, your multi-purpose bypass tray. And what's nice with the bypass tray being standard, it's also a standard third paper source on this series. If I go to the front of the machine before we get to the operational touch panel, this is the area where you would load your toner. For this monochrome system, we have a single toner cartridge, which you push that lever, toner slides in and out, spill free. Close it. You'll also notice, unlike copiers from yesteryear, there's not a lot of areas inside for you to do anything as far as clearing misfeeds. It's a simple path up the right side of the system, out through here. The standard system would have an exit tray right here where the paper would rest on. On this particular device, we happen to have the optional internal stapler finisher. What's nice with this finisher is for people who need stapling capabilities, they don't need a two foot external finisher attachment on the left side, which is also an option. Also with the internal finisher, there's an option to put an embedded punch unit. So for people who need stapling and punching and they're pressed for floor space, the internal finisher with optional punch is a great choice. Should a piece of paper be exiting the system and a potential misfeed occurs here, there's a latch right here. And a lever here to easily remove a piece of paper from the system. Close it up, close the latch, the device will reset itself. 
As far as paper trays, standard two 550 sheet multi-purpose trays for letter, legal, and tabloid or 11 by 17. Here's your second standard paper tray, which shows the 11 by 17 ledger or tabloid size. And here on this specific device, we have the 2000 sheet optional large capacity paper deck. Each side will hold 1000 sheets of paper. You load on the left, and then it will convey your belt over to the right. And that concludes our overview of the system, the Toshiba E-Studio Series.